tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Life because I am worthy and it's okay to have money in my life because I am financed by God when I was born here. And the reason why I want us to begin our discussion about money and why it's good to have money with those two things is because I know what you what a person does not fully experience for himself or herself. You will never develop the compassion for other people who have money as well because you haven't felt the importance of it for yourself. So uh, let's talk about worthiness because worthiness is such a topic that most people have a difficulty accepting especially i'm coming from a beautiful country and unfortunately uh you know i love the people here in my country i think we're one of the most warm-hearted uh people <laughs> but because of the feeling of limitation and so many times in our uh we were conquered by many different uh, people groups of people over the centuries so now our feeling of worthiness is so difficult for our collective consciousness to accept but i know it's so important because filipinos are one of the most hardworking people in the world <laughs> uh, the the number of hours filipinos devote to at work and at the same time how much we uh, extend ourselves into learning and growing ourselves in an industry is actually phenomenal. But I know no matter how dedicated you are in the thing that you're doing, but if you don't feel worthy, then you're actually going to work against yourself. And unfortunately, you end up becoming resentful because you, you feel that you're exerting yourself so much and then you're getting paid so little. But the truth is, it was actually your consciousness of not realizing that you're worthy that's creating the lack for you. So I hope, Tina, you uh, clarify briefly to our audience how a consciousness of lack is unconsciously created so that a person can dispel that feeling unworthy and transform that feeling of unworthiness into something that feels good, that feels oneness with God, that feels oneness with Source. Absolutely. We talked about um, being your people being conquered, right? Or yeah. that if you think about all of the invasions of your people, yeah. those the people who came in to control mm -hmm. enforced beliefs yes that are still working in the background okay yes. it takes less than a generation to create a belief in a people that that you will carry forward with you and not know that it is not of your God to carry that belief. Now, when you come into the world, when you're born, you are already financed by God. Then you take on the belief systems of your environment, okay? Now, when you begin to meditate, and you begin to do the work of, I want to explore the idea of accepting more money into my life so that I can be a better steward for my family and my community. And you start to meditate and you start to connect with your God directly instead of having a middleman. Yeah. That will start to reveal all of the beliefs that you have in place. Now, he's not going to try to take all of them at once because yeah. that would be overwhelming to you. And you, like that, that would cause major issues. But one yeah. by one, <laughs> one by one, the beliefs that are holding you back will be revealed to you. And a lot of times they're revealed to you in the form of a problem that it's now time for you to show up differently because you're going to have that little whisper in your ear that you're supposed to do something a little bit differently this time. And as you keep connecting, 
keep meditating, you will get another version. And all of a sudden, you know, and it does not take a long period of time. Like within 30 days, you could have a whole different and complete life just by the two things that we talked about. In uh, for now, I also want to give you the chance to talk about your client attraction systems. I'm very interested and uh, go ahead, please uh, share it to all of us. Awesome. So um, I help people build their business and I help you build it in a way where you are not um, working too hard. You're working passionately and you're working smartly and allowing technology to help you do the rest. One of the things I let my clients know is that for what, every hour of automation that I put in, I get between a thousand to 10,000 10, hours back. And so I love helping my clients build an automated business, a business that is going to grow. My automation within month three technically um, takes over any efforts that you probably can do. And we've helped a lot of people 10X their business. Um, wow. if, if you're not ready for this yet, then, you know, I have a book on Amazon that's called ka -ching, How to Add a Digit to Your Income. Go get that book and start there. Um, you will see me talk about the monies in the follow-up. Um, most people don't follow up enough. There's only 3% of people who are impulse buyers. So that means that even if you're just looking at what your audience says, if you have 100 people following you, only three are impulse buyers. So that means you are not really building a relationship or, or really appealing to the other 97% because you're only ever trying to push the sale. If you learn to build the relationship and have a more long-term gain, within 90 days, you will start to see that your long-term efforts are going to overtake everything that you're doing in the end off. And you will begin to watch your business start to explode because you are actually coming at it from a different place. You're coming at it, number one, from a holistic place of, mm -hmm. I am supported and I am, I, you know, I am supported. And since I'm supported, I can serve and build relationships and, and have these deep conversation that is going to turn into sales at some point in time because when you give god's got to give back you can't out give god yeah thank you so much nina i love that wonderful message from you i'm a total believer of it and um a lot of people have good things to say about your work actually from one of your clients in Georgia, she was saying, Tina helped me take my business from six to seven figures. If you want technology to connect all the dots, especially software like ClickFunnels and Infusionsoft, contact Tina Berkey. Bring three pots, the girl is hot. And from Noreen Sumter in New York, when I met Tina at a speaking engagement, she talked about most business owners living a life of quiet desperation. I knew I had to work with her. So awesome, awesome, Tina. I'm pretty excited myself. And let's go to the next slide, please. Also, I want to thank Unity Philippine Spiritual Center, Benedictine International School. They helped me when, with the first few episodes of the show. And it's really awesome. Um, so check out their websites as well. Of course, our university. I know, Tina, you have things that you want to share about our university system. Please go ahead and share. Well, um, the thing that I want to share is for me, uh, Dr. Masters, um, who I didn't get to meet in person, uh, but his work is profound. It had me from the very first, um, like I said, very first module, because he does not want you. One of my favorite sayings in the world, and you'll hear it in a lot of my videos, It'll say, I will say, libraries don't make money. Being a repository of information isn't going to necessarily convert for money. And that is what has been taught, is that if we keep feeding the intellect, that the intellect somehow is going to convert to, you know, a successful career, to abundance. 
But Dr. Masters in his very first module said, um, he said that there are too many people who are walking in encyclopedias, but haven't been able to prove or demonstrate. And he wants you to demonstrate. And so for me, that right there was what hooked me to his work. And I will forever be a champion of his work simply for that. Because I do know a lot of people who are walking encyclopedias, <laughs> they haven't, but they haven't put it into practice. And it doesn't mean that they're wrong because you know, I'm sure one day they will get it because we all are learning and, and getting better in some way. But man, when you put this into practice and you really begin to have the discipline of disciplining your mind and co-creating and, and literally putting God first in this way, where you're bringing God into everything you do and you start with connecting to your source first, it is just such a different life. Thank you so much for that, Tina. Such a powerful thing. And, you know, um, you guys know how much I love the University of Metaphysics. I think it's just one of the best things that a person can do for himself or herself to get yourself the perspective of your connection with your inwelling uh, God, higher consciousness, whatever name you want to call it, and make it your partner to success. Have life tools that will actually help you grow in your personal and your professional life. Those are just some of the things that the bachelor's degree is going to cover. Please move to the next slide. And there's also a scholarship program that's very affordable. So I encourage everyone to visit www.universityofmetaphysics.com. You only pay $90 down payment and $25 for 48 months if you're really on a tight budget. And it's such a powerful course to get into. And uh, next one, please. And I also want to thank Dr. Anita Caprice, Dr. Diana Bihuni, Dr. Cindy Palos, Reverend Anthony Brown, Dr. Yolanda Dukes, uh, Jennifer Hill, Dr. Stephen and Tenny Cosmina, and Dr. Kathleen Riley for supporting the uh, first season of the show. And thank you so much, uh, Tina. It's a pleasure to have you, and I hope to have you again. And maybe we can prepare something, an event or something for... Uh, I, I want to be included, of course. Uh, we all want to know more about marketing and how it can actually advance our business or spiritual practice i want to thank my co-producer sir charlie uh sir Rolly, and also our staff abby and ralph thank you so much thank you so much to our viewers and remember you're all the magic that you've been waiting for so make the most out of this week and see you all next week and before we end the show i just want to invite everyone for a simple prayer of protection so let's close our eyes Take a deep breath in and out. And together, let's affirm the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. Satnam, everyone. Enjoy. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.